Secondly, um, in the start, I'd like to not to represent, not to talk about RNN or Southern journalism. I'd like to speak a little bit more about um, how the Egyptian media cover the election and how the, how the election in Egypt in general. So, oh, it's supposed to be a picture here. This has no bar. Okay, there is Rust by Arabic and Rust by English. This is the first picture, okay? This is Hosni Mubarak, and now if I'm reporting the, the this is election, and I'm supposed to be uh, Egyptian main TV channel, I'm reporting of it. How Hosni Mubarak great, he's like ensure the participating in the real democratic life in Egypt, and how we get the feedback from different NGO that uh, give a good feedback about the election in general in Egypt. So this is the main thing that we hear from the Egyptian media. How it was great, how it was like uh, no, no intention, how the opposition um, love it, and how the opposition have like a participate, um, a percentage, even it's like 2%, 3% in this. So this is mainly what we hear from the media, okay? If this picture shown in the media, the, the, the media will, will say, okay, this is not the people, not gang people who are against the result. This is people who are cleaning the street. This is not fighting to each other. Even they are fighting to each other. So, and, and this is, as we saw yesterday, this is the picture of Hosni Mubarak and Obama and, and uh, the leader of Palestine and the leader of Israel. So the, the Al-Ahram newspaper changed the position of Mubarak from the back to in front to the first one. So this is what we used to see from the Egyptian TV. And here is like a caricature showing the, how the, we use, actually this happened with me. We use when I go to vote, I used to find my, the people that I know who's been dying like two years, three years ago in, in, the, in the naming list. So this is man is telling his wife that, Oh my God, this is my pleasure to vote yesterday because I met my died fathers in the election rooms. <laughs> so, and it's not, you know, it's not like um, hard things or like we, have, we, we, we don't have that kind of power to, to expect what will happen in the next elections. So this is in general how is election, how is covering media. I'm Abdullah Fakharani, I'm from Egypt. Um, five years ago, I returned back from Dubai I was in love with Egypt. I miss it. I want to. I, I want to live in my country. You know. I always been listening to Mukalsum and hearing Niles, and this is my country, Al Wataniya, Abd al Nasser, and So, and the first day I entered the university, and I found, you know, I supposed to be in, a medical student. So I found there is like um, what's called. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the people who can understand Arabic and English, they will help me in translations. So there is, I, I found that in the first day the close to anatomy lectures rooms, there was like uh, some sort of uh, magari or disposals in, in, the, in the university. So this is my first reaction when I entered the university. Oh my God, I came from Dubai, that's, there is like, everything is perfect. To this place, I supposed to, yani, I live everything I was, yani, I, I have a good chance to study in Emirates, I have a good chance to study in the United States, and I want to turn back to Egypt, and the first time to see something like that, so I joined oppositions. When I joined opposition, I was playing parkour. So uh, I was going photographing and I was playing parkour. So the, actually the opposition in Egypt is brotherhood. That's it. So the brotherhood say, Abdullah, you will be good if you take the camera and run in the street or run in the building and climb the tree and like that and take a good positions and photographing. And how, how I start being a part of the media, of, of being responsible in media or reporting for my, my university by that thing. So I being like a citizen journalist. I started doing the, this job without understanding what the meaning of citizen journalism is. And in that years, exactly, the, the government prevent any reporter from outside the campus to enter the campus. So I was the only one who covered for the university, and I give it to like Al Jazeera, to different news, news network and different news outlets. At that time, I, I actually understand how strength that what I did, how how um, I. I I cover a lot of things like how the gang and how the Molotov being through against the people of opposition in the university, even brotherhood or other like liberal and sex of April movement like that. So I, I being part, I, 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 at that time I feel that I did a great job. And I met with different people who are doing the same job with me. 
so from different news from different university we have like uh, we, we was like 15 and we was like close friends to each other so we met in each news network like Al Jazeera Al Arabian like that so before the before the election by like a couple of weeks we think that we must do something by using the same way of we work in citizen journalism so what we can do is that we have we was like the majority of Egyptian people spend like not 24 hours like spend like 48 hours per day in on Facebook so we have that Facebook and at the same time we have citizen journalism we are from different college so we have that connection all over Egypt so by that way we will make like uh, connections or a combination between citizen journalism citizen journalism and the face social media so we'll, we'll end up by something it's called alternative media so we can talk more freely about what happening in the elections and the social media by that way we start to giving uh, talking a little bit more how to take a photograph how to how to take a, a good one how to upload it fast how to hide your identity and we start to pop publish more and more about this uh, things. And it's work. In, in, the, th in, the, in the day of, in the day of uh, elections, we, we publish around 1,500 pictures and video. We, have, we get more than uh, 700 news, and we publish, after, checking, uh, after checking, checking them, we publish like 400 news per, uh, in that day. And in that day, our, our follower, our sub subscription or follower increased into 80,000 followers, and that was amazing. So, this is, this is the, the first page that we, we did. It's called Monitor Field Unit, Wahdat al al Maidani. It is the, the version one of RNN. So, the team, the founding member, me and my friend, who was doing the same thing, citizen journalism. And uh, we have, like, I am from the University of Incham, so I have a, a good friends all over Cairo. This is area around the Shams and the, the other one from Alexandria University to have a good connection in Alexandria University. So by that way, we connect the news. And the last thing is citizen journalism. So we have like online uh, mails and uh, hotlines that people send the news to, toward it. Source of news, at the same way as I, as I said before, what we done in that day that we published 1,500 uh, picture and video. Facebook page rise to 18,000. And um, actually, the main two things that happened during that time, that the opposition used our source, our, our video and picture, and they, they take the right to canceling the result of the elections. So by that way, our credibility increased among the opposition and among the other media. And that's it. We keep working on that time, but not focusing on the, on the parliamentary elections until the revolutions. So we keep covering the, the special even the, the normal even that happened in Egypt not the normal but you know the like killing of Khalid Saeed like the protest in Alexandria like by the same way so by that way we was covering that what happening and the same time um, a lot of people join us because uh, they, they miss reading about this article in the normal news network so by that way we, we, we keep our work 25th of January before 25th of January, we was talking about. We was talking with my friend. He's he's part of all of us Khalid Said. All of us Khalid Said, the, the main page of revolutions that been created by Wal Ghanim. He's one of our friends. So we was discussing together what we can do together. So uh, Khalid Wal Ghanim was uh, following our page, and we also following his his page. So we said that okay, we can make like I will be the, the source of news for the revolution, and at the same time I will tell the people to don't accept any. Uh, invite from for the protest except from this page all of us Khalid Said. so all of us Khalid Said um, say the only source of news is rust and we say the only trustable even for the revolutions or for the protest is all of us Khalid Said. by that way we started uh, to publishing about the event and we start publish it not by saying ordering the people go to protest just by telling the people uh, there is a protest there so the people will inform that there is a protest there and they will participate. So not, inform, not directing the people, not telling them go and participate, just by informing them and they will participate in it. And this is the old page and the new page. What we did, our result of RNN. In the day of, uh, the first day when we, when we started Ros News Network page, we get more than 1,000 uh, picture and video by citizen journalism. In that day, we, we, we update it every 30 seconds. In the 34, in the first 34 hours, at 35 hours, we get more than 200, 550,000 followers. And 
so the main the main way of working as exactly MFU that we have hotline, we have email, we have citizen journalism all over Egypt. So we get the, the, the people calling us and telling us the news and I called my friends who was in Alexandria or in, in Cairo or in Said or anywhere. I check it and I publish it with picture under it. That's it. So what happening after that, that's after um, in 28th of on 27, actually the Facebook, the, the government cut off, the, uh, blocked the Facebook and Twitter. And after that, by one day, the government cut off the internet. Before the, uh, after the revolution, we noticed that from uh, a man, his name is, um, I forget his name, but he, he worked the, the, the leader of the campus of the, you know, the leader of the campus of the media. He, he said that Razd was behind the, the, the main cause that made the government cut off the internet in Egypt. So this is what we, and this is the picture of after 35 hours, 250,000 people. So what's RNN now, Razd News Network, is like official stock holding company. Um, we are 18 founding members and two, uh, invest, two businessmen invest, investor. We are publishing by four languages, Arabic, English, Turkish, and French. More than, 18, more than uh, 12 billion views since we started, so it's like 1 billion views in one month. Um, 300 reporters all over, uh, 200 reporters in Egypt and 100 in, eight, in other seven countries. We have online, online radio and we have ros.com. Something in last years um, make me, this is, I will say what, what, we, what I want to do in, in next, what I want from Rust. In last, we, in last years after revolution, we didn't know what we will do after Rust. So we start accepting from people uh, their initiative and we sponsor their initiative. So one of, the, one of my friends, he said, I'm, I'm good, spe I, I can speak Turkish. Why you didn't start, start like Turkish News Network? speaking by Turkish, but the, the, same sort, the same news that will translate to Turkish. So it will be for Turkish audience. So I, t I accept this idea and, and I, I did it. The same by friends, the same by online radio, same by everything. So what Trust wants like, again? Okay, what Trust wants like, we believe in, in the strength of the youth and we believe in the, in the creativity of thinking of the youth. And we accept everything from the youth. So I don't have that kind of strategy. After five years, I'll be like that. But for example, I see like more than different 13 initiative and all of them was inspiring. So I'm open source. Anyone want to do anything with that? I have that platform is one million and a half followers. I can do everything. Anyone want to publish anything on Rust? It's your platform. And that's it. And thank you.